Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. How's everybody doing today? We are back with another reaction video from no other than Jack TV. Um, I see a couple of new move, new videos have been coming out from the people I react to Jack Jack TV, UD, um, the newcomer that I that I just started looking at, um, um, Soulless J um they have more content coming out and they are actually pumping it out so get the only reaction that you can best get from you know no other than me keep it locked here keep it you know going how i say hit the like button ah subscribe 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 you know if you ever get the notion just go ahead and hit the share button as well but other than that, we're just going to jump right into it. You already see the title. We are going to get into this. I don't know exactly how this is going to go at this juncture because this might be a little bit different than what we normally encounter from Jack TV. So, nothing, you know, no further ado. We're just going to jump right into it. Let's get it. So we got a, uh, uh, yeah, it's a dealing with an older guy, older guys out of their monies. I guess, I guess the girlfriend, I guess the girlfriend is actually scamming people, older guys to be exact, but we're about to see what's going to go down. Let's get it. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this girl named Gloria was scamming him out of his money. He explained to me that uh -huh. he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera. And after he sent that money, she blocked him on everything. I sent her money through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She I, she blocked my social media accounts from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Snap, so as soon as you sent the, as soon as you sent the money, she, you just lost all communication with her. Uh, everything fell apart. Man, I saw a pictures of that bitch, man. She was fucking hot, but I never seen her in fucking person, man. It's some fucking bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. Man, that's a fucking red flag right there. Excuse my French, but that's a red flag right there. You haven't even seen her, and you sent her money, like. I would say I, I don't want to feel no sympathy for you, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel for him a little bit because, yeah, he probably, she probably been working him for it. In order for that amount of money, uh, X amount of money to be sent to a female and you don't haven't seen them or whatever like that, you they must have been working you for a good, good while. Had to be some months. It better be over. I know one thing. It better be over freaking six months. I know that much. You know, I wouldn't even honestly, personally, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even do it after six months. I will I will do it after I meet the person. I can't just sit up there and just send some random female money, you know, just because I've been chatting with her and bumping gums with her for a little bit and stuff. Nah, nah, not happy to meet son. But that's his own. He look, he just made that made that bed. And he gonna sleep in, you know. He should be able to be sleeping it, sleeping in it himself. Cause come on, man, you send a chick money you ain't even met. Come on, bro. Like that's red flag already within yourself. Everything, and goddamn, man, we were on the phone, we were chatting and everything. And I said, like, all I, I even said, hey, I hey, my hey, did y'all peep that? Did you peep that, homie over here? I guess that he's supposed to be setting her up right here in the black. Check your body language after he done said all that stuff. Man, it's some bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. And god damn, man. We were on the phone, uh, we were uh, chatting and everything. And I said, He's trying his best not to laugh. He probably, after all of that, he probably thinking the same thing that I was just thinking. Like, why the hell would you send her money? You ain't seen her. Like, that's boy. He's in there here talking about some, that's bullshit. That's bullshit of you, you know, sending that, sending the money? Really? Sending the money? Bro, like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Let me get off this tub to top because we got a little bit more to go. As soon as, I, all, I, as soon as I finished my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. 
After time passing by and Ricky sitting there actually thinking about what took place, it sent him in a depression, which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend were scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out Dang. Gloria's boyfriend information and ended up reaching out. He actually had no knowledge of this at all. So Ricky, this is who you was talking to. This is Josh, he's behind you. What's up, bro? So I met that bitch at the strip club, dude. Hey, hey, Ricky, man. Hey, Ricky, be man. respectful, fool. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful, talk to him, right? That's his girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Oh, okay, okay, yes. Yes, sir. I mean, where, where are you meet her, bro? I met that girl at the strip club, man. She, I mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is, but I mean, I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's blocked her Facebook. Twitter, Instagram accounts, and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages, and he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this Ricky dude, he, he reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl, and I was like, I ain't really paying no mind, bro. Like, oh, so he don't know. This Ricky dude, he, he hit me up, talking about, oh, my girl, spending my money, this and that, all that kind of stuff. I ain't, I ain't really listen to him like that, but he just kept hitting my line, hitting my line, hitting my line. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me look at this. And I just send her money through Cash Up, PayPal, and Venmo. Man, she's a fraud, man. You waste your time, bro. Because I am bankrupt. I am broke. I gave all that all my fucking money, man. And she took all of it. She hung me dry. I'm homeless. I have no job. I have no fucking car or nothing. Fucking bitch. Stupid little park trash little you ain't never called or talked to on the phone, heard her voice, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you study sending the money? Come on, bro. Yes. That's right there. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Straight up, man, the whole ordeal was kind of weird to me. You ain't lying. Okay, I'm listening to it right now. This is crazy. So when he uh, brought up the strip club, y'all kind of looked at each other. Why? Why? It's more about I told you so thing, but it's not my place to say that. But like I said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks. Shaking ass, or uh, you recruit somebody. Some got to be explained. Money popping up randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No mm -hmm. answers. Yeah. Answers. Very true. Very true. I mean, that's that's where is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, you met her in the strip club too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she so the strip club. I went. I went out there with some of my homeboys, and we were out there having a good time. And she was one coming to our table and shit. And I got a number from there. We started talking, and we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all the information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like yeah, she, like she, she pop, she popping up with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes. Always asking me for this and that. Like it, it's really starting to make sense now. Like, really, like I'm, like I said, bro. I'm at, I'm at the strip club, bro. She was a bottle girl out there. Me and my homeboy went out to some fun. A bottle girl. Yeah, right. All night, all night. Really been going strong for like two years. Like really been trying to take care of this girl, bro. I really dropped everyone for her, everything. Like damn, bro. Maybe I should shit. So today we had our decoy Gabriel actually reach out to her through the Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. She don't know okay. that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay. Okay, so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and go upstairs, get everything situated and Hopefully you get your answer, bro. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is so totally different right here. This is real different. So, yeah, we about to go ahead and he. I think he about to cut that promo for that seven that seven fifty. Good, bro. Hey, what's up, man? Okay. Watch your channel, bro. What's up? What's up, bro? Uh, yeah, yep, yep. That's what it is. Oh, man. Can I get a picture, bro? No, nah, yeah, I spot. I spot that, spot that anywhere. Okay, here we go. Hey, man. I Hey, man, I might use that, bro. <laughs> I just did a whole promo, bro. Ricky believes that Gloria preys on older men to use them for their money, so I took the liberty of hiring Gabriel as our decoy. And the plan was yeah. for us to rent out this beautiful Airbnb, pretending that Gabriel stays here, using this house as a way to showcase Gabriel's wealth. Gabriel actually been talking to Gloria for about a week now, and they decided to go ahead and meet up for dinner. What Gloria don't know is that his Hold house up. is literally right across the street from where they Hold up. So you're easy pickings. Like this, this whole thing is just 
the box is opening up and everything like that. How does Mr. Man right here, a week, gets a dinner with her and all this other stuff? Potentially, you don't get the dinner, but you give her the money and you ain't seen her before. Like, something is not adding up right. So, I'm guessing she see the, the higher dollar sense from him because he in the suit and the tie, you know. She felt like, oh, yeah, I can just make that, make that extra effort and just go and see him right off the rip. Whereas my man over here, he's, you know, I don't know what his situation is and everything like that. She's saying he's saying that he's broke and he out, he out of a car, a house and all this other stuff and everything like that. Maybe he might not have that same amount of money that Mr. Man, Mr. Chocolate over there got. But. We gonna find out. They'll be eating. This was all planned out perfectly, so when Gabriel mentioned he stayed literally across the street, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her to just walk across. So Josh, Glow is on her way here. Um, Gabriel's about to make his way to the restaurant so he can meet her there. Is there anything you don't want him to do while he's conducting the test? I mean, I really, this is all kind of a shock to me. I really just kind of want to see where her headspace at, and really he can kind of do whatever I want to see what she's up to. Okay. That's, that's really it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get you down there. Um, you already mic'd up, so basically everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jack about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get as much money as I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, like, how much you sending her? Yeah, well, how yeah, much? I her every month. I give her the whole check. How much is the check? I don't want to share that information. That's, 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 that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. All right, so Josh, yeah, we can just go ahead and uh, go down to the command center. No, it, it probably be a good amount. We tried That's setting up a command bro. center for today's test, but because of the area, we were only limited to listening through the mics. Cameras were set up in the house just in case Gamer was able to get her to come over. And this loyalty test is officially about to begin. There we go. Loyalty test, buddy. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know what that about, neither. <laughs> Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos, bro, I be thinking that cash out shit fake. I swear to God, <laughs> I really yeah, do. Bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, so, Beam, I'm doing all these videos. I'm like, bro, I'm clicking, I'm, I'm playing the games and shit. I'm like, bro, this shit gotta be fake, my nigga. So, boom, I stopped and I went to sleep. I wake up the next morning, bing, come 50 <laughs> in my account, nigga. Man. They don't believe me. Look. I told you, bro. All you got to do is be patient. There you go. Yup. Yup. Yes, sir. All you got to do is be patient, bro. Hey, bro. All right. Cool. Hey. Hey, how are you? Yeah, so we talked about me, you know, watching the dinner. She pulled up. Showing up with her, bro. Like, damn. So like, he confirmed that it is her. questions answered, bro. He got some questions answered. Tell me about Dubai. I want to hear about it. I ain't never been. You went by yourself? Yes, it was my first solo trip and you went by I yourself. Was more so like it was like a getaway. It was my first business that did really well. I had a hair company and it did really well. And then at that same time it was Man, I don't even business. know what to say about this. By myself. Just with the shipping, the vendor, the marketing, just everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had went through like a bad breakup, a bad friendship. So like I it was like literally like a Getaway. Like, I she is getaway. like literally like, putting on the whole works with this with this dude. And I don't know, I was I wasn't scared. Like I'm not scared. I've been on my th I just did my third um solo trip actually. I did a tri trip, but going back to Dubai. Mm. Um when I went, I did research on it. I did um hire a driver and I did like a little tour my first day so I could kind of get a feel of where yeah. everything was, just the idea. Yeah. I did the desert safari. I went and did the Oh, you did the whole I did the, you whole, did the whole damn thing. thing. I was like, okay. I'm gonna do if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do everything. So and you did, did all of that solo? I did all of this solo. Wow. You a lie. That's brave. I, I, I admire that. You a lie. Yeah. Then my third was just a tri city. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico for one day. I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. Yeah. And then I flew to Washington, D.C. because I had never been to Washington. I flew there. Wow, you've been all really? over the place. Okay. So I'm like, and that's why all this is very, you know, fitting because I do like nice things and I do like, you know, I'm not just 
like that. Yeah. I like yeah. nice men. You know, I am single, and it's crazy because I am really actually single. Uh, single, single, or I'm, 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 I'm single. Mm. Yeah. I'm single. Oh, so, yeah. so that that counts as oh, dude, <laughs> the curly hair. Yeah, I'm single yeah, as fuck. I'm single. I ain't yeah. seeing nobody. Uh, what you want to do? I got some 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 ideas of what we could do. If you're down for it. Yeah. Attractive and that's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you want oh, to, really? yeah. Nice. Yeah. You wanna you wanna go I check would. it out with me? I would. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh my God, she took it just like that. It's like that money, boy. They couldn't pick a better guy, though. Maybe we can hang out at some point. Yeah. Yeah, he Love already taller than to her. Decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We we're gonna let yes. this test go on, but since we are all the way on the fourth floor of this townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on, and we also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. Dude, there's another level up there. Okay. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what, though, we can take the elevator. I yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. Mic signals from every camera are all bad. Maybe there's a satellite in the area that's messing with everything, but if we can go in now, we can because she didn't already show us that she failed. Yeah, been here about a year and I like it. I like it so far, so. Oh, yeah. oh I've never the, been in an elevator or in a house. Give you the grand tour. Wow. Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, wait like, a minute, this is really? so wild. This is, I know, this is beautiful. Like, yeah. This is really nice. Yeah, I like uh, yeah, she, she fell in, she fell in bad. You should come be here with me. You know? yeah, yeah, this is very nice. I, I feel like I can vibe here. It seems like it will be very tranquil. This is all you. This is, it looks like something you should be in. Oh, really? Yeah. Something I should be in with you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I don't want you to be in it with somebody else. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. This is crazy, bro. I feel bad for dude who got all his money, took his whole check. He said he was homeless, this and that. Mm -hmm. Women out here, right. man. I know. It's crazy. According to Josh, he's seen enough to actually go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of this loyalty test, and she completely failed, denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. No, bro, I, I done seen enough, bro. Like, she, she already took the phase, tricked the shit, bro. Like, let's just go, bro. Uh -huh. As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him. I know, right? I want to see this. Really? Yeah, I want to see this. I want to see this so bad like right now. Yeah, I like the way you roll. Uh, about there, about there. Like the you roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You fat little fucking <laughs> bitch. What do I get my? The way her face looked with you were like, what the hell is all that noise? Oh my god, let me fix my chair. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, y'all help me please help me please with this freaking chair you know i'm about to get another one don't worry of all times you know what let's screw it let's let's, let's run this let's run this my god fucking hands here we go you. Ah. Right. Ho ho ho, chill out, bro. Took all my fucking money, you trail bark trash. Hey, bro. 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 I knew it. I, bro, you was right, bro. Bro, when we came down the stairs, <laughs> that boy Ricky, I ain't gonna lie, that boy was saying everything in the book. He was just blurting out everything. And dude, yeah. who, who girl it was, he wasn't even really defending, the one even saying nothing to the nigga. Like, hey, you calling my girl this, calling her that, and you, you, I ain't gonna lie, she took your money, but hold that down, bro. You got some answers for me? 
Huh? You don't know? Oh, now, now all of a sudden you don't know. I don't even know who the f that is. So Ricky basically reached out to me saying that he was messing with you through text messages. He never seen you in real life, and he sent you a lot of money, and you ended up ghosting him on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know you. I don't know you. I'm gonna find you. I, I, I bet you, you don't know who. Don't know. Yeah. What would you catch me doing though? Hmm? What am I doing? What do you mean? What you doing? You out here entertaining? You was just on a whole date. Uh, all day. You got sending you money. What you mean, bro? Why? Why, why are we doing this? What? Why are you? Hmm? Why, and then you say you would. That for me? Uh, did, did you not accept any money from him? I don't know. At all. I don't know. Hey, you don't. Shut the f up. You shut the f up. You shut the f up. You shut the f up. Like, like, you call lying. Lying how? How? You're lying. Where's the lie? 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 I've seen the screenshots. You're lying. Where's the screenshots? The screenshots of everything that y'all talked about, all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready to leave. Bitch, you owe me my money. I'm going to get you. Are you, are you going to go to the cemetery? Your money, bro. You want to go to a short trail, <laughs> you, bar trash, you got a life that mommy money. never breastfed you milk or nothing, Shit. bitch. Yeah, you ain't going to be fed or nothing. Uh, Suck my d***, you fucking bitch. Bye. Yeah, bye, bitch. Bye. Bye. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Oh, man. You let a bitch alligator. You got the guts of the nurse to come up to the right back again. How you feeling, that? Bro, I, I just upset. Bro, like that stupid bitch. She coming years, back up bro. again. Like, that's some bullshit. Bro. I'm gonna push her like, down I, the I, stairs. Man. When I'm sitting here trying to work my ass out, bro, I work two jobs, bro. Like two. I'm bankrupt, dude. I be spoiling this girl, bro. Like giving her everything she want, and she gonna sit here and still entertain other niggas on the side, bro. Like it, I'm it's homeless, fucked up, bro. Man. And I really, I feel stupid because I had I had people sitting here telling me this and that about you, and I was like, nah, 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 nah. She, she made know, me bro. out she of like, a jackass, bro. man. Like this is what? Gee. Yeah. Where's that bitch? Go uh, uh, on, little uh, trail park trash. That's messed up, bro. Right. And she ain't say not a word. No, I still, I still got beef with her. She's not over until it's you, over. Shit. <sighs> Stupid yeah. bitch. Until yeah, so, next time. Yeah, this test was crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, jack off. Yeah. Bro, like, I wouldn't even first, first of all, there are a lot of there are a lot of questions that could be answered from the female from the female, but she she wasn't budging on it. She ain't even letting nothing out. But yeah, that, that's some serious that's some serious stuff right there because that's crazy she's gonna sit up there and take that dude's money like that she's gonna take the dude's money not tell her not say anything about what's going on or why she did it or whatever like that she don't care she was just soulless she she needed to be on the soulless joint but then again she, i'm glad she's on jack tv because she if we came up to the wrong one or whatever he probably would have been G, he probably would have been on her like white on rice show for real like straight up okay he want his money back i would he didn't want to disclose it or whatever but i wonder why he didn't disclose it because he he probably feel like he he probably feels like that he's a dumbass for doing it but then he's gonna be even more dumbass if they told him if he sat up there and told them how much money that he gave her so i don't know but either way he might he should just said went ahead and said and disclosed how much money it was or whatever i don't know that junk crazy though that's it's real crazy but if you live and you learn in this case he might not never get his money back to be honest because I don't know. Not unless he's gonna take her to court or something that's like that or whatever. But then that's still gonna be hard to prove. So I don't know. I don't know what to do, homie. I feel bad for him. It'll be in my prayers and all this other stuff and everything. But hey, be safe out there. That's all I can say.